Hey guys, what's going on? I'll feel another view in this video. Sam explaining how you get Dolby Digital Surround Sound with the Game Capture HD or HD 60 capture cards. Uh, so if you don't have a Game Capture HD, this probably isn't going to be the most relevant video to you. Uh, but the first thing I want to say is that Elgato's not paying me to say any of this stuff. This is all honest, unbiased opinion here. And the reason why that's important to know is because I do believe that the Game Capture HD is the best capture card on the market right now. And the reason I think that is because I've been doing this for so long now that, I mean, I remember the days when we used to hook up our consoles to camcorders, record the gameplay on the tape, then import the video from the tape from the camcorder to the computer using a Firewire cable. Now, most people now probably don't even know what a Firewire cable is, but it's like a big-ass cable that Apple came out with in the 90s that's kind of like Thunderbolt now, like you daisy-chain it, and it, you know, it kind of is what it is. And most people would use it to import video from camcorders. Uh, and that's how we used to do it. But, you know, we've kind of come a long way to the point where we're, you know, you can just use something like a Game Capture HD, plug it in, record your video straight to YouTube, uh, and it's pretty simple. And I think it's the best one because it's the most convenient. It's 1080p, it's 60 frames per second, which is why I've been using it since uh, 2012, I believe, is when it came out. Uh, and I've been using the Game Capture HD 60 since that came out last year, I believe. However, there's one big problem with it. It's big for me, or it's big for anybody that uses surround sound and also uses the Game Capture HD. And it's that the Game Capture HD does not support surround sound. I don't know why this is. It's 2015. It's going to be 2016 tomorrow. Uh, and it, it only supports stereo sound. Same thing with the HD60. But other than that, it's a great capture card. And I've been trying to figure this out since four years ago, since 2012. Uh, I've been trying to figure out how you get uh, surround sound with this. And long story short, it does not support surround sound. So what I did, though, is I tried to figure out a way to get surround sound with it, and I finally figured it out, and I put together this little PowerPoint here that I'm going to show, because I wasn't sure how else to explain this other than just making a PowerPoint that I'm going to go through here uh, to show people who want to know how to do this, how you do, uh, do get surround sound with the Game Capture HD. Uh, if you have just a TV that you use or use headphones or just anything that only has two channels, it doesn't matter because you're using stereo sound anyway. But if you do have surround sound, then you're probably going to want to know this because the Game Capture HD, I've tried every way of doing this. I've tried changing the settings on my console. I've tried like trying to bypass it. I've been, I've just tried everything with this. I've tried going into the receiver and then out to the Game Capture HD. And even when you try to do that, I don't know how this is, but it, like literally, if you try this, if you have a Game Capture HD, go on your console and try to put on surround sound, and your console will know that it doesn't support surround sound. It'll actually say, you know, hey, we can only do stereo sound. Like somehow it figures that out. Uh, but I finally figured out a way to do this, how to get surround sound with the Game Capture HD, and I'm going to show it to you now. Now, just I want you to be warned, uh, this, is, this ain't free. There's no free way to do this. Like, you have to get some equipment uh, to get surround sound with your Game Capture HD. So let's just dive in here. So first slide, what you're going to need, you're going to need an HDMI splitter. I'm going to put a link to the stuff that I use in the description because, uh, you know, it works for me, so I guess it would work for you. But at the same time, do this at your own risk. You know, understand that you're hooking stuff up here. So, it, you know, if you're not the most adept at that, it might not work. But I'm going to explain this to you the best that I can, uh, and hopefully it works for you the same way it worked for me, and you'll be able to get surround sound uh, for your home theater system, and you'll also be able to get stereo sound at the same time to go to your Game Capture HD. Uh, so you're going to need the HDMI splitter. The reason you're going to need a splitter is because what you're going to need to do is the Game Capture HD has an HDMI in and an HDMI out. So anything that comes from that HDMI out is going to be stereo sound. There's no possible way to get surround sound doing it that way because the, the Game Capture HD is going to automatically make it stereo sound. So what you're going to need to do is you need to have a, a, like one line to go to your TV, to your home theater system, and another line going into your Game Capture HD. So you can have a separate channel for surround sound and a separate channel for stereo sound. So you're going to have the HDMI splitter. The, the HDMI is going to come from your console to the splitter, and then you're going to have one line goes out to your home theater or to your TV, and the other line is going to go to the Game Capture HD. Second, you're going to need an optical audio switch. Now, the optical audio switch is going to be really important here because what you're going to do is... There's going to be audio going through the HDMI cable. That's going to be your stereo sound. So obviously that's going to go to the Game Capture HD, but you know through your home theater, you're not going to want to hear stereo sound. You're going to want to hear surround sound or Dolby Digital sound. And like I said, the Game Capture HD is going to support that. But what you can do is have a separate line. If you use an optical audio cable, you can have two different audio lines, one going through the HDMI and one through the optical audio cable. And on your console, at least on the Xbox 360 and on the Xbox One, I don't know about PlayStation because I don't have a PlayStation 3 or 4, 
Uh, I'm kind of an Xbox PC person, I guess. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to do that on the PlayStation, which you're probably going to want to check before you do any of this. But I know that on the Xbox 360 and on the Xbox One, uh, you can definitely do this. But you're going to have your stereo sound going through the HDMI, and then you're going to have your um, surround sound, your Dolby Digital sound going through your optical audio cable. And you're going to need a switch because likely, you know, if you have more than one console, or if you have a cable box, or if you have any other thing that you want to watch on your TV... Uh, you're going to have another input for that. So what you're going to need is a switch. What the switch is going to let you do is switch between inputs. So one from the 360, one from the Xbox One, or one from the PlayStation, one from the cable box. So just be able to you know, easily switch between uh, devices without having to physically unplug things from your receiver and then plug in something else because nobody wants to do that. Uh, but if you have an optical audio switch, the one I have actually has a remote control on it. So I can just, with the remote control, switch uh, optical audio inputs. Uh, and then the other thing you're going to need is a sufficient number of HDMI cables and a sufficient number of optical audio cables. You're going to need a lot to do this. I don't have a specific number because it kind of depends on how many things you're going to be plugging in. But just basically whenever you're plugging something in, you're going to need one of these cables. So you're going to need quite a few. So let's get to how you hook this whole thing up. So first thing you're going to need to do is hook up your HDMI from the thing you want to use to the splitter. Now the difference between a splitter and a switch is a splitter is going to take one input and duplicate it into a bunch of different outputs. Whereas a switch is going to take a bunch of different inputs and make it so that with one input you can just switch between the different devices that you're using without having to physically, you know, reach behind your receiver or your TV and hook, you know, hook up a bunch of different things. Uh, so first thing you want to do is hook up your console. So from the eight, the the HDMI out on your Xbox One to the HDMI in on your splitter, you're going to want to make that connection. Now, you know, when you switch devices here, you're going to have to switch the cable on your splitter. So if you go to the 360, uh, you're going to have to, you know, pull out the HDMI that you're, you know, that's going into the splitter from the Xbox One and put in the one from the 360. It's not a lot of work, but, you know, it's what you got to do. Uh, so then you're going to connect the HDMI out from your splitter to your TV. So the HDMI out from the splitter is going to go to the HDMI in on your TV. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is connect another HDMI out on the splitter to your Game Capture HD. So you're having one line out, like I said before, that's going to your TV or to your receiver. Uh, and you're going to have another line out that's going to your Game Capture HD. Now this line is going to have the picture with stereo sound, and we'll show you how to configure that at the end. And then your optical audio cables are going to have the surround sound. So it's separate so that the Game Capture HD gets its stereo sound that it requires, and then your, you know, your surround sound, your home theater, your receiver, uh, whatever it is, gets the surround sound. Uh, then what you're going to want to do is connect your optical audio cables from your consoles or cable boxes or whatever it is you're hooking up. Just, just connect your optical audio cables to your optical audio switch. Then what you're going to want to do is connect the optical audio cables from your consoles, your cable boxes, all the stuff you want to hook up to your optical audio switch. Uh, so what you're going to be able to do with the switch is, you know, say you switch from your Xbox 360 to your Xbox One, you push a button and now the sound that's going to your receiver to your speakers is going to switch from the optical audio coming from the 360 to the optical audio uh, cable coming from the Xbox One. Then what you want to do is connect your optical audio cable from the optical audio out port on the optical audio switch to your speakers. Uh, now whether that's a receiver or whatever it is, you get the idea. You're going from... Uh, the optical audio out on your switch, the optical audio in uh, on the device that's, you know, hooked up to your speakers. Now, here's how you're going to configure this. Once all the wiring's done, what you're going to want to do is on your X... Now, this is for the Xbox 360, as you can see here. I'm going to show you how you do the Xbox One uh, after this, the settings for that. Like I said, the PlayStation, I'm not sure if you can do this, but what you want to know uh, is whether or not you can have, you know, two different outputs at a time. So you can have a stereo uh, output on your HDMI, and you can have your Dolby Digital surround sound. Uh, on your optical audio cable but on your xbox 360 here's what you're going to do you're just going to go to audio settings and you're going to press uh dolby digital 5.1 uh for the digital output now keep in mind here there's a difference between digital output and your hdmi output the hdmi is going to have the stereo that goes to the hdmi in on your game capture hd whereas your digital output is going to be dolby digital 5.1 uh for the optical audio line that's going to your speakers for your surround sound now for the xbox one you can kind of see it more clearly with the Xbox One. On the top here, we have HDMI audio. You're going to want to make sure that's stereo uncompressed. Now, stereo, like I said before, the Game Capture HD requires stereo. So your HDMI audio output that's going to the Game Capture HD is going to be stereo uncompressed. Now, your optical audio, which is the optical audio cable, you want to select bitstream out. And then for the bitstream format, it's going to be Dolby Digital or surround sound, rather. Uh, is the setting for that so if you kind of think about this big picture here HDMI is going to have um, the, the stereo sound and your optical audio cable is going to have your surround sound so basically what you're doing here in essence is you're bypassing 
the the sound that's coming through the HDMI. You're bypassing the sound that goes to the game capture HD, and you're using a separate line that's surround sound uh, for your optical audio cable. And like I said, I'm not sure if the PlayStation has the capability to have two different uh, outputs here, but like you see on the screen right now, there's HDMI audio and then there's optical audio. Uh, as long as you can have, you know, a stereo for HDMI and optical for your optical, not, excuse me, not optical for your optical audio cable, but Dolby Digital, or surround sound rather, for your optical audio cable, you should be good to go. So again, the big picture here is we're going to have uh, stereo sound on your HDMI, and the HDMI is going to go to your splitter, it's going to have one line out coming out of the splitter going to your TV or to your receiver, and then you're going to have the other line going to the Game Capture HD, so the Game Capture HD gets the picture and it gets stereo sound, then you're going to have your optical audio cables coming from your devices to a optical audio switch and from there to your receiver or to your TV or whatever it is that powers your speakers. Uh, and that's going to give the surround sounds on that end. You'll have your, you know, your picture on your TV and you'll have your surround sound handled separately. And separate from all that, you have your HDMI line with the 1080p HD or maybe, I don't know, whatever your setting is for your... Uh, picture with your stereo sound goes to the game capture HD. Now I know it's kind of confusing here, so if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best uh, to respond and explain this further. But I hope you get the idea. If you don't, I'm going to explain this just one more time because I want to make sure. It, it even confused me when I was setting the thing up. It took me a while to understand. One more time, you're having your HDMI cables from your devices go to your HDMI uh, uh, splitter. What you're going to have to do when you switch devices is basically unplug the thing that's going into the splitter. So, you know, if you go from your Xbox 360 to your Xbox One or from your, you know, PS3 to whatever it is, your Wii or your, you know, whatever you got going, uh, you're going to switch the HDMI into the splitter to, you know, the HDMI for whatever device it is. The splitter is going to have, you know, two lines coming out of it, one to your TV or one to your receiver. And then the other line is going to be going to your Game Capture HD. That line will have your picture and it'll have your stereo sound. And separate and apart from all that, you'll have your optical audio cables that will have the surround sound. Uh, and that will go to your receiver or to your speakers or to however you have your speakers set up. Uh, and so what we're doing here, like I said, big picture is we're having stereo on the HDMI line for the Game Capture HD. And we're having surround sound on the optical line going to your speaker. So in essence, we're bypassing the stereo requirements of the Game Capture HD by having two separate lines. One for surround sound, one for stereo sound. Uh, and you should be good to go. Now, like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll do my best uh, to respond and to explain how this stuff works. But other than that, until next time, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.